Hey guys, it's Manny. So I want to revisit my 2023 comic book collecting goals. All right. So in terms of being a positive member of the comic book community, I would give myself an A minus. I think I'm very thoughtful and positive in my interactions, meaning leaving comments for others, responding to other people's comments on my videos, my posts, and then in the different chats and the live sessions, I think I'm very positive and then respectful towards others. I think what's helped me a lot is avoiding the FOMO drama centered content. I think I was more into all of that stuff uh, in 2022. And I think just unselling a lot of folks and avoiding that stuff has been very helpful. I still think I can be even more positive and then maybe watch other people's videos. So that's one of the reasons I don't give myself an A. All right. In terms of avoiding black hole spending for me in terms of new comic book day, non-comic book items. So I bought a few stuff here and there, cards, slabs, stand, t-shirts, but I haven't been buying much else. I think I'm very, very smart in terms of me um, not spending too much on other things because it just becomes a black hole, right? I'm not trying to put down others who buy other stuff like figures, statues, and t-shirts. It's for me, it becomes black hole spending because I go too hard when I collect something. So I invested in the Marvel app to keep up with the new books. That's helped me um, save some money so I don't have to be, you know, spending money on new comic book day. You know, I have to wait a few months for some of the Spider-Man and other Marvel books, but I'm okay with that. All right, in terms of filling gaps in my Hobgoblin collection, I think I've been very successful. A minus. Filled in major gaps, not really big books remaining on my list. Upgraded a few books without overspending. Some go some books, I should say, were gifted to me. That's helped uh, with completing my run and some gaps. But uh, that third point, that little rabbit hole that I've been kind of going into. So I've been buying some general goblin books, Demo Goblin, Green Goblin. And then I'm working to complete the Spectacular Spider-Man run. So I got to be careful. I'm expanding a little bit too much. So try not to expand more. And just careful also with occasional impatient eBay buys. So I think sometimes I buy a book on eBay. It's a, it's a good price overall. But I think with the shipping, I was like, eh. I could have maybe um, found that cheaper if I would have gone to a con. Or just waited for my shop to maybe get in a new collection. So... I do plan to take many breaks from spending on comic books just because I want to focus a little bit more on reading. Um, and, and then, you know, of course, you know, I want to make sure that I'm also saving money as well. All right. So securing Mark Jewelers for certain Hobgoblin books. I did secure a couple, but zero the last few months. It's just way too overpriced right now, the Mark Jewelers. I know people are saying prices are coming down and then the copies are really beat up. So I know the Mark Jewelers are um, usually in lower grade mid grade but i want them a little bit better you know to present a little better um for my collection so you know there's a military service men and women connection to the mark jeweler so that's one of the reasons i want this piece of history in my collection but i want to make sure i stay patient so i will give myself a b minus overall in terms of organization rebagging boarding upgrading upgrading i would give myself a good grade but in terms of organization overall I would give myself a big fat F. Like I really have a craven mentality. So I get a ca caught up in the hunt. I find the book and then moving on to the next hunt. Like I sometimes just record a short or a haul video, but I don't really organize the book. I don't see which ones really need a new bag and board. You know, I see these wrinkly bag and board sometimes. I'm like, wait a second. Why haven't I put that in a new bag and board? So I definitely got to work on organization. Selling more books, I would give myself a big fat failing grade D minus. So I sold a few books here and there, which did help out with an A OK. But overall, like I've really made no effort to sell. I kind of have an Ivan Drago mentality. If it sells, it sells. I don't really make an effort to post uh, other books I need to sell. People are watching some of my books. I'm so embarrassed right now because I didn't even send them an offer. So I kind of have to take one day just to focus on my eBay, make a dedicated effort to post more books, and then, you know, see if I can pursue other trading opportunities with other members of the comic book community. In terms of reading more ASM and more modern books, trades, and indies, I've read a lot of Amazing Spider-Man and just general um, Spider-Man books. A lot of them on the Marvel app, which has been great because it's um, helped me create some content uh, for my YouTube channel. But I haven't really read any trades, um, especially in terms of indies. I have a lot of indies that I want to read, some DC books that I want to read. I read none, zero. So I got to really try to focus on not just reading Spider-Man and Marvel so much and just focus on other stuff in terms of reading. So I want to give myself a B overall. All right, in terms of slabs, so Amazing Spider-Man 245 was my big goal. 
Amazing Spider-Man 276 was also my goal. I would give myself a nice A for this. Very successful. So I'll be honest, they were eBay Snipe wins. Even with the shipping, I got a tremendous deal on both slabs. So I'm very happy uh, that I was able to secure, secure these slabs for my Unmasking Hobgoblin slab collection. I might go after Web of Spider-Man 48. I consider uh, Unmasking cover, but we'll see. It has to be at the right price. And my copies, they look very high grade. So I might see, you know, I can have those cleanup press and send off to CGC. All right, guys, but those were my overall goals. Uh, let me know what are your goals, collecting goals. How are you doing with those in the comment section? Um, doesn't have to be comic books. It could be your card collecting overall goals you have right now. Always want to hear from you guys. All right, guys, so that is enough for now. I really thank you guys, um, you know, for the support and for watching. Take care, guys.